Well, 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 what do we have here? Some Lomachrome Purple. And of course we have my trusty Pentax K1000, a film camera that gets a ton of love. I'm sure I'm gonna make a video about it one of these days. But more importantly, the film. I've never shot on Lomachrome Purple before. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think I've shot anything from Lomography before. It seems like a relatively recent film and Lomachrome worked on a newer formula for it this year. According to Lomachrome's website, the new Lomachrome Purple film lets you explore the color spectrum like you never have before. Blue becomes green, green becomes purple, yellow becomes pink, red tones stay red, which keeps skin colors natural in a sea of trippy tones. It sounds really cool and the preview pictures remind me a lot of the Kodak Aerochrome look. Obviously it's not the same but it seems a little bit inspired by it and since that film isn't exactly easy to come by, I decided it'd be fun to experiment with and see what I came up with. So this is my first roll of Lomachrome Purple and we're in Chinatown so let's go. I don't really do a lot of street photography, but it is something that interests me. And I thought this video would be a good opportunity to go out there and get some practice, get some experience shooting street photography. I chose Chinatown because it's just a bunch of colors, and I feel like this film, with the amount of people and random colors going on there, I think the film would be really suited for an area like this. And I'm not gonna lie, there is a part of me that just really enjoys people watching in this area, so here we go. I found the first shot I was interested in pretty quickly, but there was this pole in the way, so I figured I needed to cross the street to get in closer to actually get the shot. We're gonna not get hit by cars first. I moved in closer for the shot, and I was getting everything ready, I was nailing my focus, and then a group of people came by, and it was just a case of when you take too long to get ready for the shot, and then the shot's gone. Do you ever feel like you take a consolation photo, like you're doing street photography and the one you wanted didn't work out so you just kind of impulsively shoot something else nearby? Yeah, these like chickens were in the window. I took a picture of it. Wasn't even straight. Not too proud of it. Mm. Moving on, we kept walking and we found a little fish market. Now, I really like the way these look. It really makes me think of that Blade Runner aesthetic. It's kind of like dingy and it's got like those weird pink hues. So I thought this was a cool shot and this guy was just kind of hanging out here. I thought it was pretty badass, so I snapped that one really quickly. I kept walking and started seeing more and more street vendors selling fruit. Now, I really love this. First off, it's just a really nice slice of life. It's just, I don't know, I just like watching it for whatever reason. But, but more importantly in my brain, look at all those colors right now. So I found the right angle and I just snapped one off. I'm really happy with this one. As I crossed the street, I saw some more fruit vendors. Same line of thought, lots of colors in there. I just love watching it. So I fired off another one quickly. Not as good as the last one though. After that, I started heading down Mott Street. Now, Mott Street is great because there's a lot of really cool things to shoot, a lot of really cool signs, and a lot of really cool people. So the first stop over here was just shooting right down this block. Now, I fired off three shots really quick. I experimented with the exposure a little bit, and honestly, I probably could have afforded to underexpose a little bit more, but either way, it's still a cool shot, and I love what happened to the signs because of this film. If you ever walk around this area, you're gonna find this weird little turnoff. Cars actually can go down this street, but tours come through a lot and a lot of people just hang out there. It's got a really great aesthetic, but I loved getting that empty shot, seeing all these people on their like lunch break or whatever the case may be. It just felt really cool. Of course, when I tried to take another shot, there was a bike tour that came through, so I ended up having to wait there quite a bit for them to clear out and get that second shot. But I really love this area, and honestly, I think part of the reason why I'm so obsessed with it is it just really makes me think of Final Fantasy VII, like the, the Midgar region, you know what I'm saying? Wall market. You know what I mean. Anyway, back down the cool street, I figured I'd shoot it in the opposite direction, and the clouds were starting to come in, so I feel like we would have had some nice, misty, diffused light. As I was walking along, I saw some puddles down on the ground, and just the way the light was catching it, I saw some cool reflections, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I like how the gravel around the puddles in sharp focus, but I almost wonder if this shot would have been better if I went for the tight focus on the reflection itself. But either way, cool shot, I like it. Now while you're in this area, it's almost a given that you take the shot of One World Trade Center through the through this alley over here. It's it's almost required. So here's that shot. There wasn't really much thought behind it. I just saw it and thought it was cool. As I was walking further down Mott Street looking for the next target to shoot, I saw someone standing in front of one of my favorite ramen spots in the city. Shout out, that place is really good. Uh, unfortunately, I underexposed it a little bit so you can't really see the person, but she had some cool purple hair and uh, I don't know, I just thought it was a a cool composition with her just standing right in front like that. 
As I kept walking around, I noticed there was like a second opportunity for that first shot that I missed, the one with the pole at the beginning there. The guy was kind of sitting, it was a similar setup, so I just kind of posted up and waited for the right opportunity to hit it. Hey, it wasn't exactly the same shot from the beginning, but I'll take it, it's a nice uh, silver medal. I was more than halfway through the roll, so I decided I wanted to take some time to get some wider shots of the environment, just to kind of show how busy and cluttered everything is. I think I underexposed this one a little too much because I lost a lot of the detail, kind of gets a little bit muddier in the shadows there, but all in all it's still it's interesting enough I guess, not one of the better ones of the roll. So a funny story, this was filmed on a Saturday and my plan was to shoot in Chinatown and then walk over to Sammy's Photo Lab, uh, not, not sponsored, but I like going there especially because it's right next to this little dive bar, you get a drink, you get your film in an hour, it's awesome. Uh, but Sammy's closed on Saturdays. I probably should have looked at that before I went down, but whatever. The idea too though was that I had another little thing with me that I wanted to make a video about so I would get the film and test that thing and make that other video, it would have been super productive, but uh, you know me I, I can't have a day that's too productive so I found another place on Google that was nearby since it was closing soon I decided I would just finish off the rest of the roll as I walked over there and there you go just drop off the film so on the way there all I was really looking for was moments people talking to each other people looking cool or just interesting signs and lots of colors As I was walking down Elizabeth Street getting closer and closer to the photo lab, I found a bunch more of those fruit stands, so I was shooting some more of those photos. This one weirdly looked like a double exposure, I think that might have just been from not advancing the film all the way or something like that. Not entirely sure what happened there, and it's kind of ugly. But since I was right in front of the place, I ended up just kind of hovering around over there, shooting a couple more of the fruit stands, some of the photo lab itself. I was just trying to wrap up the roll here just because I didn't want the place to close on me. I ended up getting really fascinated with the place next door to the photo lab just because this guy was like chopping stuff and cooking stuff in the window and hanging ducks and stuff. You can ask any of my friends, I get really enthralled by stuff like that, whether it's like someone cooking or even just at a bar and someone's mixing a drink. I love watching stuff like that. So I took a couple of pictures of that up front. Also those might be chickens, I don't, I don't know, but I love the colors in the bouquet, oh my god, it's great. Anyway, I had a couple left, so I just decided to bring it on home. I just shot the fruit stand, the block around it, one last shot of the photo lab, and went inside. I had a really good time shooting this film because I, I didn't know what to expect from it. Ultimately, I will say I think there's a bit of a learning curve. I feel like a lot of them came out underexposed even though I was using the K1000's light meter, so I'm not sure if that's a film thing, but again, first roll, who knows. But I have a couple of shots from the roll that I'm really, really happy with, so what more can you ask for? I have a couple more rolls of this film in my fridge, so I definitely will be shooting with it more in the future, probably very soon. And honestly, I just had such a good time walking around and shooting with no expectations. Just just doing it for the love of doing it. Huge shout out to Horseman for filming this video because I don't know how I would have been doing this street photography stuff and filming myself at once. So shout out to him, follow him on Instagram of course, and you know where to find me. I'm here, Discord, MySpace, share this video, leave a like, give me a comment, what's your favorite photo? I don't know, I, uh, I like this one, but what do you think? Alright guys, hope you like the new series and I'll see you soon. Now while you're in this area, it's kind of... Let's wait for that plane. Once I... Once I made it... <clears throat> I saw a reflection of the thing hanging from the... I decided it'd be fun to experiment with and see what I come up with. So this is my first roll of loam... I decided... I decided it'd be fun to experiment. Like and subscribe to Sweet Lou Photography. The man.